So do you know what makes something a wetland? Well, by definition, a wetland is any area saturated in water long enough like this to support a majority of plants with special adaptations to being saturated in water. Okay, let's start by looking at the different types of wetlands. Generally, they fall into four categories. Marshes, swamps, bogs, and fens. And here's just a few we've explored. have one of these near you? Depending where you live, you might have lots of them. With this US map, we can add a darker color to wetlands, and you can see that there are lots and lots of wetlands in areas like the southeast, the Mississippi River Delta, and in the far north, like in Minnesota and Wisconsin. Once you've found your wetland, you should know that there are lots of different types of plants. Let's put them into categories. Some plants are emergent meaning they grow mostly out of the water. And some are floating, in which their primary photosynthesizing leaves float on the surface. And some are submerged, floating just below the surface. This is kind of cool because we got all three varieties here. We've got emergent plants, we've got submergent plants, and we have floating plants all in the same place. And we know that to some, a wetland might look like a wasteland, but they're extremely important. In fact, they harbor tremendous benefits for the ecosystem and us. They clean the water by filtering runoff before it enters large bodies of water. They help protect areas from floods. They also keep shorelines from eroding, which keeps sediment loads in the water to a minimum. All kinds of fish and wildlife depend on these systems, too. So one of the cool animals here in the wetland is the red-winged blackbird. Now the males are here setting up their territories and trying to defend them to get the best mates. It's really neat. Finally, I think we need these wetlands for their aesthetic value, whether it's for artists, biologists, filmmakers like myself, or simply to take a hike around them. All right, before we go, we want to encourage you to do something to help the wetlands in your area. You can go to untamedscience.com to learn more. And as always, never stop exploring your world. <laughs>